Hello. Well, I took off the front panel from the uh, Fisher RS280 to clean it, and here's what's underneath it. Got a vacuum fluorescent display. Looks like it could have been a clock. Hold on. Let me turn off the light there. You can see it's got a colon in the display. I see two of them. Interesting. And it looks, you see that extra segment on AM? You turn off that little extra se segment, you get PM. Could have had a clock. Definitely. I wonder if there were any Fisher models that util utilized that extra feature in the display. Certainly not this one. I can't find, at least I don't think so. I don't see a way to set a clock. There are no uh, clock set buttons on the unit. There's some LEDs. You got your uh, tuning and signal indicator and your uh, input indicators on there. And I think your FM stereo indicator as well. Some more push buttons. These go to the uh, microcontroller. And some indicator LEDs. You focus there. Fairly simple stuff. Here's the uh, main control board for the tuner. This is our display driver, our vacuum fluorescent display. Hooks up there. Some 4000 series logic to glue it to the microcontroller. The main microcontroller, this is an, actually an ASIC. It is a. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture of it. No, I can't really. Um, it is a Toshiba TC. 9137. It's a uh, self-contained uh, AM, FM, and long wave tuning system. Now this uh, unit, of course, being an American model, does not have a long wave tuner in it. We don't have any long wave uh, public radio stations. There's a, another part of the chipset. I forgot what that was. I think it was a prescaler or something. There's a little bit of 4000 series logic to glue it together. Some various little uh, capacitors, transistors to make things work. Speaking of capacitors, though, there's an interesting one here. I may need... Yeah, there we go. Gold cap, 5.5 volts, one tenth of a farad. 100,000 microfarad. That's the memory backup capacitor. That's what keeps your presets alive when the power is off. And despite the lack of sophistication uh, on the uh, amplifier board, it made me think maybe this thing is older. I mean, it has to have an external drive circuit, for heaven's sake. So I thought it was more integrated than that. I thought we had a really nice, uh, crazy preamp on, on the same board. But no, there's no preamp on that board. It's all power amp. Um, it's just a power amp and a drive stage for the power amp. And that made me think, well, maybe this is older than I think. But then again, I see that super cap, and I'm back to my mid-80s theory. Uh, if anybody's got a, uh, a definite answer as to how old this thing is, hit me up. There's the uh, coaxial potentiometer in your balance here and your volume here. This is going to get three-step cleaned later on, uh, probably in the next 48 hours. There's the sliders for the EQ. These have already been three-step cleaned. They're already re-lubricated and uh, deoxidized. Shouldn't be any static at all when you adjust these. They should work just great. On the back there, some ribbon cable that hooks it to this. And this unit is the actual electronics of the EQ. A simple one transistor amplifier per each band on each channel. So it's five bands, so five little one transistor amps with uh, frequency dependent uh, elements in them. Each one has a slightly different selection of uh, passive components to get the uh, right band. The only thing I've done on this is inspect it for cold solder joints and replace four capacitors. And they weren't bad, I just did it out of preventative maintenance. They're coupling caps, and if they go bad, well, you get system wide audio dropouts that are hard to track down. They infuriate the customer and they can take me a little while to find, so 
I just get rid of them. 80 cents for some insurance, essentially. Uh, I, I stake my reputation on repairs, actually. I'm not a vintage audio dealer. Um, this doesn't actually pay the rent for my little college apartment. Um, what does is actually repair of not only stereos, but computers and just generally anything electronic. I've even taken in some industrial equipment occasionally. Um, but yeah, this is mainly just to clean out my closet and to clean out uh, my inventory of stuff that customers have said. And on second thoughts, I really don't want to fix it. Here you can have it. Um, but with that said, I am serious about my repairs, even on my budget units like this Fisher. So, while I am not intentionally trying to compete with uh, a certain famous vintage audio dealer on the internet whose name comes from a, a rather popular hardwood tree, um, I do, in, in this case, compete with them, and I do quite well, I should say. I, my prices are lower, and at least as far as I can tell, I do more work to my equipment than they do. I certainly uh, do the same amount of verification that they do. Um, let's uh, turn over the board. You can see what else I've done here. This board just got one cap replaced, this little guy right there. Um, the rest of them look okay. That one I wasn't quite sure about. And if that one went, the whole digital section of this receiver would go crazy. Uh, no big flux buildup. There's an even distribution of flux, but no huge pileups. This doesn't need to go through the flux remover. Um, there are no cold solder joints either because this board doesn't get hot. It doesn't expand and contract as much as the power amp and other power supply components. That's about the only thing that's on this board here. Yeah, you get buttons and a couple of weird, uh, very small value electrolytics, probably just to keep noise down. But that's all that's behind that front panel is a fairly tightly integrated uh, digital tuning section. That's another thing that makes me think it's from the mid 80s because the early 80s tuners needed more parts to make them work. So I'm still thinking mid 80s. If anybody can confirm or deny that, that would really be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to get to uh, repairing the rest of this unit. I've got to get in a couple more parts. But within the next 72 hours, I should have it buttoned back up.